One of the unnatural things about being in an interview is that uh, you're one person and there could be ten people in front of you. Um, and it is sometimes difficult to know how to deal with a situation like that. I'm convinced that it's important to try and make everybody in the room feel that you're addressing them. And there are different techniques. I mean, one of them is to always start and finish talking to the person who's asked you the question. Um, another technique is not to try and gaze straight into their eyes, but be prepared to look at their forehead or something like that, so that they, they feel you're directing towards them, but um, they don't feel glazed at. There were some um, slightly more, I suppose, off-the-wall questions that I, I probably couldn't have, couldn't have applied, couldn't have prepared for. And I think I just had to, you know, take a breath and think about those. If you do get asked a question and your mind just goes blank, it's perfectly reasonable to say to them, I wasn't expecting that, can we come back to that when I've had a few minutes to think about it, can we deal with another question first and then often by the time they come back to you you'll have had a few moments to think about it. Again, no, um, no recruiter is going to look badly upon you for doing that. They will see that as a sign of confidence and an ability to actually think things through properly. Best interviews are, 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 as ever, um, confident ones, not overconfident ones. Uh, somebody can be very nervous and actually appear confident at the same time. It's, it's, it's completely usual. When people ask you questions about your research, if you give a, a presentation on your research, um, don't make the questioner feel stupid. So, People like People like a research presentation when they feel that their question was recognised and taken seriously, and, um, and, and everyone is like this. Uh, I think the other thing is, and this is very obvious, but sometimes when you're nervous one forgets these things, don't interrupt people when they're talking. The, the two things not to do in an interview is A, ramble on and not be stoppable. Um, you need to notice when their eyes are glazing over and you've said enough. And so it's quite good to prepare answers that you know don't go on very long. Um, and then I think the other main thing is you cannot prepare enough so that you really should know. You should never be taken by surprise. The worst thing somebody can do when they go for an interview is not prepare. If you don't prepare, that's going to be evident. Even if you get asked questions you don't know the answers to or weren't expecting, if you've done your preparation, that can still come across in your answers and the recruiter will know that. Actually, again, I think it's a funny thing to say, but I've actually quite enjoyed the process of the job interview. We had a really interesting discussion where I was made to think, and that was one of the reasons why I took the job, because I had found the, actually, I had found the interview quite stimulating intellectually. So even the questions that I hadn't prepared for were the kind of questions that if you thought about them for a bit and had enough um, overall background knowledge, then you could answer quite satisfactorily.